hot day here in Philly. It's steaming. And we here at Pleasure Platters, Alney, Philadelphia. I'm here with the family. Hi, everyone. All right, got the wife, too. We about to get into some seafood. Say what's up, Kendall. What's up? What's up, Philly? We make seafood to a perfection. Started in 2019. I lost my job, which was really sad for me. I've worked with kids. My husband came home one day, he saw me sulking. He was like, I can't do this with you no more. You gotta get up, you gotta do something. My only other passion was food. So I was like, all right, well then I'll sell some platters this weekend. Let's see how that goes. And it just took off. It just went from one extreme to the next. The next thing I knew was like every weekend, I was like, bars that didn't have kitchens, people were ordering like, I need food, I need food. And uh, no Mirage, uh, Damien had introduced me to Patty Jackson. She tasted the food and it took off again. And you know, everybody in the city that has like a name, uh, Saudia, Country Cooking, she tasted my food. It took off. Like every embrace, it, it, the food just got bigger and bigger. And we were thankful. So, backstory um, it was uh, Miss Patty's, uh, Miss Patty Jackson's ceremony in South Philly. And Kendall approached me too, say, hey, I'm Kendall from Pleasure Platters. I'm like, and I've been heard Pleasure Platters before. It's just that at the time, she didn't have like a brick and mortar. She didn't have a storefront. So I told her, yo, you get a storefront and I'm there. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Yeah, and um, she, at the time she was only selling it from, from the crib. And I heard rave reviews. Even my boy Quest Love heard about you too, so. Wow. Yeah, we're hey, gonna get some <laughs> So it's all like the seafood boil. Um, it is similar to what you would get like if you went to uh, maybe like a hook and reel, but it's different. So it's very, very personal. So the seasoning is house made. I do it specifically because um, people who have hypertension, I make sure that the seasoning is well balanced so that it's not over salted. Um, the sauce is house made. Uh, we take every platter, every order is made to order specifically so that um, the person that's ordering is getting exactly the same thing that I would give the person before that. I want you to all have that pleasure experience. So every platter is made with love. All right, so now I'm making lobster bisque. So we have like most of the meat and stuff, the crab meat, we have uh, scallops, we have small shrimp and we have a lobster a bunch of lobster and we crack it we crack the lobster from you know the shells and we deshell everything we clean it and then we put it in we add it to the soup what advice would you give someone who started off just selling platters and you want to elevate to where you at um I would say do a lot of paperwork first. Get all your paperwork done. I did that. I had to make sure that I had insurance. Um, you have to make sure you have your LLC established. I'm even trademarked. So you have to get all your paperwork done. And then from there, just really connect. I connect with Star Fusion. She's amazing. Um, connect with people who have been in the business for a while and can, and can guide you. But be genuine. Like don't go to people and just, you know, always have to take 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 but also give offer hours offer can is there anything i can do to help you know your business you know and also make sure you tell people about their businesses like we have to kind of enter what is it called like inner promote like promote, you know like and, and, and jl does a great job with that he's telling about everybody's small business like that's that's it's genuine and it's priceless ready to do this pleasure platters this is the date night combo with an order of uh, shrimp they got the lobster bisque soup the sea slaw cocktail sauce sauce and we got some drinks got the wife here I'm gonna let my wife do the honor she has the baby I want her to eat first while it's still hot all right come try this out babe. they played a song from the lyrics on the day okay oh, Look at this. <laughs> the date night lyrics Here's another touch of date night platter. Got some lyrics, R&B lyrics. Some Chrisette Michelle. That's right, I like her, man. Uh, you and me are built like armor. 
the armor that's on the snow crab, we about to break. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop love from from uh loving on us. from loving on us. Public schools sometimes get that. <laughs> and I'm not asking for much, just a couple of, of forever. It's Chrisette. Love it. I love the touch here. Look at the drinks. So people want to know too when they come here, how much is the date night? Why well, has it changed the price now? That's what I mean. I'm asking. <laughs> set, set the price. Right as of right now, the date night is one hundred and thirty dollars, one thirty. Um, it comes with what you see in that pan. It comes with the two drinks and the. That's it. That's it. Yes. It's a really good price, and you get. Look at the touch here. You get this too, so you can light it up. Yes. Be real comfortable. Whole vibe. The whole vibe. Great small business here too. I love it. You be rushing and trying to make something special. You don't have time to set anything up. You know, when your husband doesn't think of the details, but he loves to feed I can things. serenade. I can serenade my wife too. Y'all didn't know this. I was the lost <laughs> member of the Shy Lights. <laughs> 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 but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I have the. I'm gonna feed the wife while she has the baby. So let's try this out. Okay, don't drop this. I'm about to say, please. Don't drop the this bit right. Bisque on her head. Let's try the bisque. This is a uh, bisque. Let us see. Sheesh, chunks of fresh lobster, y'all. Mmm. 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 What? You want some bread? That's really good. It's so fresh. Mm. It's really good. Wow. And I love lobster bits. That's For real. real. Mm -hmm. so you wow. Said, you were saying that um, like people that like, come from out of town and get it, they were like, I had it. This is insanely good. I lobster love literally right buttery, melts in your mouth. Yep. Wow. Let's try it with the bread. He kept pumping the bread. This must be different bread or something. <laughs> 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 Always got to double up. That's how we like do it, man. Bread, this, mm. Please don't forget the bread. Please. <laughs> there you go. Let's uh -huh. try this out. <laughs> you know, we were around all the time. It's like that fried mm. bread, right? That's so good. So this lobster bisque though. It's delicious. Yeah, I tell y'all again, I'm not I'm not really a big lobster fan either. Unless yeah. unless it's in something like this and they do it right, yo, this is perfect. Perfect. Y'all gotta get the lobster bisque. Winter time coming up too. Well mm -hmm. we in the heat wave right now, so he always goes out like, I'm gonna just take a couple bites, but when something's really good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get fancy with it. We're gonna say bisque. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, if y'all if y'all get some seats up in here, Ooh, oh I my love it. gosh. <laughs> People ain't if y'all get some chairs up in here, tables. <laughs> wow. That might be the next move, man. You might get a lounge or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do the sea slaw. You wanna do the sea slaw? Yeah. We're gonna do the sea slaw with the fried shrimp. So sea slaw is my rendition of coleslaw, but it has seafood in it. Because I, I never like coleslaw. But I like the fact that when you eat something with breading, like french fries or shrimp or fish, you have something crunchy with it, like um, uh, roughage. So I like the fact of that, but I did not like coleslaw. So I had to make something like a remix of coleslaw. So it has cabbage in it, it has different seasonings, but it has seafood in it. So it has crab meat, um, imitation crab meat and real crab meat. It has shrimp. Wait till you taste it. Uh, so see, uh Red cabbage. Damn, this is this is packed. Shrimpy. Ooh, I hear that crunch. Mm. Let's try this out. Mm. That's so good.
So are these sauces? I don't know, we're about to find. Ooh, look at this butterfly shrimp, though. So, nice golden. Oh, is that the orange sauce? Y'all made that? Yes. Or if you want it on Golden brown. Almond brown. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right, let's try it. That's really good. This is, I've been trying to guess the flavors. That is delicious. I eat the tail. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, you act with a vlog with him? I'm like, you want to go with me like, to this oh. place called Pleasure Platters? He's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, like, like, it's I'm thinking about the long list of things I had to do. And the second he said seafood, I was like, we out. <laughs> I'm going. Wow. Is that one spicy or this cocktail? No, this is cocktail. Oh, okay. I mean, Sid Booker's Clock Bar. Mm -hmm. This is a... Uh, Sauce, they, they but got, this right some here? of the best shrimp in the city. I ain't gonna lie. I like the balance of flavors on there too. Mm. I just say I love how savory everything is, but it's not like salty. Uh, we had, we, I, got, I got hot blood See, we had like seafood before. I think just put mad salt, saltiness. Very salty, like, and I'm like, dang, these flavors are good, but I can't. It's too salty. Mm -hmm. This is. I made it specifically. He's the reason because yeah. he likes visually. He likes to see the season. Right, right. Have all that salt. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. See heart friendly seafood boil. That's what I'm talking about. So I feel less guilty about overindulging. <laughs> <laughs> you over here, you took like ten bites. For, can I have some more of the seafood slaw? Y'all can keep talking. I'm eating. <laughs> Probably one of the best shrimps in the city. I said shrimps. We say shrimps. You say shrimps. Yeah. Sure. We say shrimps. No, we say shrimp. It's supposed to be shrimp. Mm -hmm. You like the sea slaw? Yeah, oh, sea slaw. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, ain't half of it. No, I did. My second bite. Over here talking <laughs> so about. I was thinking about doing a spicy one too, like a spicy. Uh huh. Ball. For me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. Do you like another one? No, I'm, I'm ready for that. I'm, I'm gonna get full. This is too good. I have to pace myself. <laughs> So you don't understand, food. like I don't really mess with everybody's shrimp either. Yeah. Because sometimes it'd be too much breading. Sometimes it might be yeah. over breading. Yeah. Sometimes they don't really season it all that well. They over season it, but yo. Perfect balance. <laughs> I know what that means. Super business. Yeah. What do you want first from out of here? Me, I always tend to go for corn. I always want to try the corn. You want to do a muscle? Sheesh. Look at this muscle. Oh my god, is it cheesy too? Do y'all bake some cheese on top of the muscle? No, it's probably garlic. Oh, mm, look at that. Okay. No. They celebrities? Yeah. They are. Yeah. They are. No. Not at all. Okay, so you say. Not at all. I take out my own trash. <laughs> And the slaw and swell the mm. It's a lot of food though. Mm. The closer I get to you. <laughs> this is date night, right? You gotta bring out with the RB hits. Wow. If this world of mine. So good. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry. Carson on the camera. <laughs> Everything's fresh. Why are you giving me these big old bites? Oh. What? He <laughs> said, I help you out. <laughs> right. Thank you. <laughs> you are at 3132. Okay. I'm ready to go. It's not like over salty either. That's what I'm saying. I love it. I love that. Yeah. And it's so flavorful. See if you tap it. What about potato? If you put it up against it. Okay, so you put it in. Yeah, so you can fire in the day. Want to try corn? It's heavenly. Oh, I want to make a mess. No, that's what I mean. I'm about to say that for later, yeah. It went away. I'm sorry. It looks extra juicy. 
so about 15 minutes. Okay. Extra right, sweet, too. Mm. Right, what it is? You know, I'm not the best. I'm worse than you. That's why I'm glad I'm not the best it. snow crab cracker there is. <laughs> Got to suck this part first, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need somebody to do a tutorial. Oh, okay. I'm pretty good at this. Yeah. I'm all right. Let me dip that in some of that butter. You're welcome, baby. See you soon, okay? I'm gonna have to go get my green water. Mm. 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 That was the bite. So nice and fresh. That was the bite. So good. But this is like... I like that. Look at that. Two for two. Come on with it. You want this one here? This guy is having a ball. I am. <laughs> Food. I am. Yep. Food makes me happy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Good, huh? Look at that, man. I appreciate mm -hmm. you guys steaming the way y'all steam this because normally when I crack it, like it just gets left in the shell. But the way y'all steam it was, was right. perfect. Absolutely it's nice right. moisture. Mm -hmm. I love the story. Um, I love the connection here. It seems like everyone's just so connected with each other. She mentioned Miss Patty Jackson. She mentioned Damien. She mentioned um, Star of Fusion. Like I've, I've covered these places. I know these people. And. That's what Philly's all about. That's what the community is all about. Just coming together and, and rooting for each other. And I was rooting for her to open this up because I told her, like, I, you know, I don't normally do home cooking type of uh, videos, but when you get a spot, I'll be sure to come through. And that's exactly what I did. I brought the family here. We had a great time. Ooh, where'd she get that from? She got water ice. There must be a water ice spot right there. But um, come come visit this place. This place is excellent. If you ask me, the lobster bisque was fantastic. The fried shrimp. There's something about like fried seafood. I love fried shrimp, and they did it perfectly. I say those fried shrimp are game changers to me. Um, and this right here is a lovely platter. We gotta take this home and enjoy it some more. Mm -hmm. with, with some R&B music or a Netflix movie in the background, but definitely very enjoyable. And again, one thing that stands out about this place is not, it's flavorful, it's seasoned, but it's not salty, which is yeah. what I love, which fits my palate. So go follow them, man, y'all. Y'all better hit them up this weekend. Philly, we going through a heat wave. Ain't nothing like seafood. Mm -hmm. A cold brew, like, or even this drink right here. <sighs> Come on now. That drink, that drink is really good. <laughs> but we out of here. Make sure you subscribe. I will see you on the next video, next episode. Peace. Bye, everyone.